Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Physio. In this module we are going to look at the scheduling diagrams and we are going to create a Gantt chart and I'm going to select the blank option and I'm going to leave the default settings as they are, i.e. five tasks and the duration on months and days. The start time is there at the bottom. All of these you can change to suit your needs. But I'm just going to click OK for this example. And then my five task Gantt chart is displayed. I'm going to start off at the top by typing the title, software implementation. And then the tasks, install software Room one is the first task. Test software. Train on software. Get rid of all that stuff first. Train on software. And the last one can be end of phase. Now this is not Microsoft Project. This is more of a visual indicator, although you can link these sort of diagrams um, to Microsoft Project and you can import data from Microsoft Project, which I'll do in a, in a short while. But for now, I just want to uh, highlight these tasks and indent them. So I'm going to, in fact, I'll link them first. So they're all linked and the top task is going to be the the sort of heading so I'll just link those two you can see the links coming out on the actual Gantt chart which is this part here now I'm going to give some duration so the first one is just a milestone so I'll put that to zero and there's a milestone symbol and the last one is also a milestone so I'll put that to zero and then install two days test four days and train three days say so there's your project plan and you can see the, the Gantt chart reflects what you type. Now, if I right click on any of these tasks, I can get myself into shape data or I can select shape data from uh, the data tab and get the shape data window active. So here's a shape data window. Just get rid of this one. So there's quite a lot of information in the shape data for a project Gantt chart. As I click around, you can see the name comes up and the start and finish date and the duration and the percentage complete. If I change that to 34, for example, you can see that the, the actual bar appears on the task itself, indicating percentage complete. If I go up to the, um, I'll just close that one off. If I go up to the um, Gantt chart tab on the ribbon, I've got other options there where I can, for example, have a look at the chart options, maybe change some of this. Maybe I don't like it sitting in months and days and I want it in weeks. Put it to weeks and days, see what that looks like. Okay, it didn't make much of a difference, but um, you can change that there. I'll put that back to months. I think it looked better on months and weeks. You can change the start and finish date and the hours per day from this box. Okay, I definitely don't like that, so I'll put it back to days. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so all this sort of formatting you can do. Now, if I go to the design tab, you can also change this color scheme and look at these themes until you find one that suits what you're after. It's a bit garish. I quite like that one, though, so I'll click on that one. And then for some of the themes, you have variants where you can change the colors within the theme. Effects, you can change how the thing sits. All these things are personal choices, but they are there for you to click on. I quite like that one. And also in there, you have the ability to change how the connectors sit on your Gantt chart. This bottom one is quite a a pronounced connector so I quite like that one I'm going to click that one on and there is your basic Gantt chart now if I click on another sheet I'll show you how you can get um, data from a 
either an Excel file or another project file. So I'm just going to import data. Uh, I've already got a file. I'm going to click next. It is a Microsoft project file and then next. And I've already got this sitting there. It's, it's called build a wooden house. So I'm just going to go next. These are the time frames at the moment. I'm going to go next and all the tasks and then next and then finish. Now, when this drops in, it might not look great, so I might have to change the, the chart options a little bit, just depending how it sits. The wizard runs and then it drops it in there. So there is the all the tasks from that project, from Microsoft Projects, and looking at the time scale, I'm just gonna change that and see what happens here. If I put that onto weeks and days, see if it just makes it easy, easier to see. It does. Um, I can see most of the data now, so that's okay. So that's how you bring information in, uh, and that's how you create your own stuff, and you can name these sheets, as you already know from previous sessions. But that is basically the end of this session, how to create a Gantt chart using Microsoft Visio.